He's the revolutionary coach that even Pep says is the best in the world. But what makes Marcelo Bielsa so special? Well, he reportedly had the Leeds players picking up litter for three hours just to make them appreciate how hard the fans work to see them play. He had bungalows built at Lille's training ground for the team to sleep in, and if you think that's extreme, he's apparently now got a bed in his own office. This is also the man who, perhaps best of all, is said to have given Spurs boss Mauricio Pochettino his big break at the age of 13, after visiting his house in the middle of the night and inspecting the length of his legs while he slept. Now, Marcelo Bielsa is the new Leeds manager, and you're going to want to hear just what the deal is with him. So during the summer, he signs on at Ellen Road, and then all of a sudden, everyone seems to be talking about Bielsa and Leeds. I mean, Pochettino is calling him his second father. Marcelo is, is like my father. Marcelo was, is like my second father. Guardiola is writing him letters of support to help him gain his UK work permit. It's good for the football, I think. Mauricio Sarri, Marcelo Bielsa are here in, in here English football. is so good. And even Swansea manager Graham Potter is saying English football is lucky to have him. But here's the thing. When you actually take a look at Bielsa's managerial honours, there's really not that much to shout about. I mean, sure, yes, he's won a couple of titles in Argentina and gold at the Olympics, but for all his time here in Europe, he's never won anything, which really makes you wonder, how's he been able to influence so many people around the world? Well, we spoke to some people he worked with to find out. La primera impresión que tuve de Marcelo, bueno, fue eh, la personalidad. Siempre voy a rescatar esa personalidad, ¿no? Esa personalidad fuerte de, de progresar día a día, de entrenar, de mejorar día a día, de querer toda la perfección. He always called my attention the way that he worked. Not only he worked on the field, the way he worked on the full aspect of, of the game. He wanted to give, a, to be part of a show. He didn't want only to, to win by winning. He wanted to win because he did the things better than the other one. Marcelo Bielsa debutó como entrenador del Athletic Club en un amistoso en el campo de la Decira, que es un modesto club valenciano de tercera división. Y antes del partido, pues eh, el cuerpo técnico de Marcelo Bielsa se puso en contacto con el cuerpo técnico de, de la Decira con un mensaje claro. Soy Marcelo Bielsa, eh, mis jugadores esperan grandes charlas de mí y necesito que de colega a colega de, de profesión me eches una mano y me expliques pues cómo vas a jugar, cómo sueles jugar, qué bajas tienes, qué novedades. Pues el entrenador de la Alcira, que era Frank Castello, pues le explicó que, que tenían algunas bajas, que el interior iba a ser un, un chico joven de, de, del, del juvenil. Le hizo una radiografía perfecta de lo que era la Alcira y Marcelo Biasa le dio las gracias y entonces se presentó en el vestuario del, del Athletic Club eh, y les dio una charla de las virtudes, de los defectos del rival, Y, y claro, consiguió el efecto que, que querían en sus jugadores y, y los conquistó. ¿no? My relationship with him was uh, start when I was uh, 12, 13 years old. I love him and we lo always love him because he was a very important person for me in my career. My desire and my wish and I hope that he change uh, the reality of lead, uh, bring to the Premier League. Um, and uh, made and will do a fantastic uh, job there. Of course, that is my is my wish. When he was here, he used to read every newspaper before eight or nine o'clock in the morning. Marcelo, eh, sí, sí, nos convenció de que para el fútbol que él pretendía era la intensidad de los entrenamientos, la intensidad de los partidos, eh, el estar metido. En cierta medida, él él nos hacía ver no que Por ahí teníamos que sufrir en la semana y bueno para poder gozar el, el domingo. He always said, well, we need a, the best bed for the players so they don't get injured when they are sleeping. La humildad de todo. Yo creo que la humildad, el sacrificio, el esfuerzo, el compañerismo, el grupo siempre prevaleció por por, el, por las individualidades. His biggest success is he has been able to build his own philosophy behind the game. Yo creo que en todo lugar que ha ido ha marcado su su presencia, su estilo, su forma. O sea, él, él siempre nos fue de frente, siempre nos fue fiel, nos fue leal y siempre nos dijo que la, la forma de entrenar era esa, la forma de ver el fútbol era esa. But that was then and this is now and I want to get a first hand experience of just how much of an effect El Loco is having on the Leeds team and fans. They've gotten off to a great start and got many Leeds fans dreaming of a return to the glory days. So we're going to head up to Ellen Road, experience the match for ourselves and see just what the fans and club are saying about a local.
how proud are Leeds fans of their history? Oh, massively proud. I think uh, it all stems back from the Don Revy years when we were hugely successful in the sort of late 60s, early 70s. And latterly, under Howard Wilkinson um, in the early 90s when the club won both the, the second division and then the first division title in 1992, which is still the last time that, that they've won the top flight. We were at the top of the Premier League. We were the last team to win the um, first division as it was before the transition to the Premier League. And we were hugely successful. We were a top four club. We were constantly there. and. That, that history and that, that um, tradition that we always had was really, is really important to what Leeds is. To be honest, I'm kind of of a generation of Leeds fans now. We've only really known it to be crap. Like, so I was 10 when they got relegated. So a lot of people, you know about it and you learn about it, and I'm really proud of it. But we've been really mediocre for like 10, 15 years now. For younger supporters and, and anybody who follows football or has followed football more recently, they, they will know of Leeds United as a club where there have been a constant string of crises, um, constant string of financial issues, a club who haven't really seen anything in, in the way of success since the, the 1990s and, and certainly not since that run to the Champions League final, uh, semi-finals in, um, in 2001. So you're, you're in the Champions League, you're winning the first division, you've got these star players, what went wrong? <laughs> Great question. Um, essentially mismanagement. We went into financial uh, ruin. I had to sell off all the best players. That's when you know we had to sell Rio to United. We go into administration and we start the tumble down the football league. How bad did it get at its worst? How bad was it? Grim football. There was a lot of protests in and around the ground. The crowds dropped. A lot of people just started going away and staying away. They weren't interested anymore. Chaotic is probably the best way of describing it. A uh, constant stream of owners, constant stream of managers. Leeds and coaching has been really interesting over the past sort of 10 years. The famous one that when during the Salino years was uh, a guy called David Hockey day who we plucked out of non-league no one ever heard of him fast school sums it up it was just not about what happens on the pitch anymore it was every week it was what's going on off the pitch are we sacking a manager are we hiring a manager i mean you think of like back to brian mcdermott when he sacked him when he couldn't even sack him and you had people running around this car park chasing after taxis so Chilino couldn't get out and then the day later he's hired again and we, we're playing without a manager or you don't know who's gonna be on the bench anymore like it was ridiculous there was just loads of weird uh, so you guys really tried everything though didn't you yeah. I mean, you tried your safe lower league bet with gary monk yeah you tried your danish guy in christensen you tried a serbian yeah you tried an italian in gus Poyet. you tried a, a non-league you've, you've literally tried everything yeah so whilst people might think mark marcelo bios is crazy maybe you've just it's a fact it's a case where you've tried everything else why not go crazy yeah, I think the outside world seeing it's crazy, but from my point of view, I, I see it as probably the safest thing we've ever done. Yes, he has a reputation of being a bit, uh, high, well, high maintenance or a bit volcanic. If you piece together the flashpoints in Bielsa's career, and, and there are plenty, um, the time when he resigned at Lazio after two days because his transfer targets weren't being, weren't being pursued, the time when he left Athletic Bilbao because he wasn't happy with the delays in developing their training ground. At Lille, he was there for a matter of months before he fell out with the board. At, at Marseille, there were issues over his contract and he left. He could paint him as a loose cannon. It could paint him as someone who, who was trouble, who was very difficult to manage. But actually, there's no impropriety in these situations. There's no misconduct. There's no attempt by Bielsa to bail out of one club to take a better contract or a better job elsewhere. It always comes down to football, even if it was to go wrong under Bielsa at Leeds. I think everybody will feel that, that it was worth the risk and, and it was worth getting involved with him. He's going to do the right things. You look at what's happening at the team. It's essentially the same set of players that finished last year. And you, the difference is he's a coach and you can see he's a world-class coach. It's the type of football that you can play in the championship now. You can play passing football. It doesn't have to be agricultural, long ball, physical, um, big players. You, you get in performances, or we've had performances in the first month that have been unlike anything we've seen here in, in 20 years, certainly as long as I've done the job. We've got a manager who's better than this club better than where we are anyway, certainly. I don't think anyone expected we could get a manager like Bielsa. What you have with Bielsa when you, you appoint him is an idealism. You're going for this style of football, which is a, a, a very, very attractive brand. It's football as people think it should be played. You don't have too many fan bases bigger uh, than the fan base around Leeds United. We're a bit of a throwback club on our support. We've been sort of down here for so long now that modern football's kind of avoided us, kind of like a gang of pirates. So when a gang of pirates get a manager who's known as the crazy one, a loco, I mean, surely that's just a recipe for disaster. I think it's a recipe for glory, isn't it? I just want to be able to sound proud and sort of say, look, we're Leeds, we don't care. But at the same time, we, the performances on the pitch don't match how great our fans is, how great our fans are, how great the fan base is, how great the support is week in, week out, um, especially at Ellen Road. 
And that's all we want as Leeds fans, is a team that matches that, and that's what we're getting at the moment. All right, well, we've heard all about Bielsa from the Leeds fans, but we had to experience this all for ourselves. So we've come to a match at Ellen Road. It's a Tuesday night, and there's a huge crowd, and that's for one reason and one reason only, a local's legacy. So let's see what they do on the pitch, and let's see how that affects Offord. The only difference really is we've got a new left back in. So it's the same same players from last year. Then how they're playing so much better, winning so many more games, playing this kind of football. You can just see the, you can see the difference with the coaching. You can see they have actual roles now, and there's so much confidence in amongst the players now. You can see it just moves out. We've always been a crowd that loves um, effort and loves to leaving it all out on them. And definitely with the new manager, it's. It, it, West side, in fact, he enforces it. Another huge win in front of another huge crowd, and it really seems like El Loco and Leeds are a match made in heaven. And whilst, yes, it is a long season, and we all know what happens when things don't go right for both this club and this coach, when you were at that match and you saw the crowd and players willing themselves on to a fourth goal at 3 0 up, you really realise that this appointment, this combination might just be the one that unleashes both the coach and club's huge potential.